beautiful Lake Havasu City morning looking at a very nice 1937 Ford Slantback sedan. Really a good looking car. It's an all steel resto rod that's nicely done. So it's the real deal folks. I'm going to walk around and kind of tell you what we know about it. Uh, uh, the current owners owned this car for about oh, 12 years, just a little over 12 years. And uh, we know it's history here in Havasu prior to that. So very nicely built car. Underneath the hood is a uh, 350 Chevy V8. Has a turbo 350 transmission, uh, a uh, Ford 8 inch rear differential with uh, 279 gear ratio, which is very nice because you can drive this thing down the highway. The other thing that's nice about this car is you can drive it in any kind of climate because uh, here in Havasu it has no overheat issues or anything like that. Beautiful body, nothing shaved or modified on it that we can tell here. Um, again, all steel, including fenders. Like we always do, we'll go around and tell you what we see. Uh, it, it's, there's two wiper stanchions up on the roof there. Um, both of those are functional and there are two sets of wipers inside the car in a nice little bag. Uh, cal vent is still there, but I believe it's not working because of the air conditioning on the car. It has equipped with nice stuff in it. It's, uh, we'll get around to the driver's side and kind of tell you driver's passenger side here. It has uh, polished American, no, they're not polished, they're chrome plated American torque thrust wheels which are really nice because they're easy to keep clean. I notice he's put some uh, dust plates, backing plates there so it doesn't get the wheels dirty. It has high-end Michelin tires on it so it's the kind of car that safe to get out on the road it, with. All the factory trim is on the car. We're down here at the park where a lot of folks are walking so they'll walk by from time to time. Sprinklers going, beautiful morning. Now it has driving lights on it and he's got them there basically for looks. You could hook them up if you wanted to. Uh, so they're a nice finish. They are early vintage uh, Unity manufacturing uh, driving lights. Car has about 21,000 miles on it roughly. Uh, so you'll find just a little bit of patina in age but definitely nothing to even talk about really. So maybe a little minor touch up here and there but a very nice resto rod that you can drive which is nice, what's nice about a car like this. It's been NSARA inspected. I'll get stuff out this morning. You can see the reflections in the paint here how nice it really is. Um, it's a PPG black. Again the chrome wheels, Michelin tires, even the factory style antenna over here for the audio. You see that. All the trim around the grill and the hood sides. The hood sides come off easy. If you hang on like always, we cover uh, the engine compartment for you, so on and so forth, and undercarriage. has a really nice exhaust system in it. It's all mandrel bent. No uh, muffler shop kind of stuff on it. Uh, nice little uh, swan neck style mirrors here. Hinges are all out like they're supposed to be. Doors shut really nice on this car. Kind of now, all the fenders on it have been uh, protected with like a rhino coating to help from, you know, prevent rock stars from uh, rocks kicking up and leaving little stars on your fenders. Um, so that helps a lot and it also helps sound dead in the car. Solid underneath, body off style restoration, heights, uh, independent front suspension. Uh, you'll see vintage air conditioning and heat here. Nice little package shelf on the dash here so the passenger can put their things there. Air conditioning vents are hand built into the dash here. Maroon carpet, a very nice combination of uh, uh, ultra leather or uh, naga hide and cloth. Carpet on the bottom side of the doors, good kick spot. Very nice bucket seats that are uh, adjustable, so on and so forth here. Flip it up here, sorry about that. Sometimes I need two hands and don't do it. Back seat, headliner is very nice. Headliner is done in the same material of the seat inserts or vice versa. We'll show you get the other side. There's an audio system CD up in the roof there. Again, all steel, very nice. You can see my reflections in the side of the car there, or the reflections of the curb in the side of the car. Again, I like those chrome wheels, those chrome American torque thrusts because they're so easy to keep clean. Power disc brakes, disc brakes in the front, drum brakes in the rear. Slant backs or flat backs are always nice. We'll step back so you can take a look at it. I like this car. It's got a good eyeball, it's got a good stance, it's got a good sound, and it's well built. And it's proven.
which is even better. Tail lights, stanchions are very nice. Are these LEDs, Gary? Yes. Okay, got LEDs on the back. Nice uh, V8 trunk handle here. We'll actually do video of the trunk. It's finished off just like the interior of the car. See the cloud reflections in the back? Nice. Has a uh, third brake light in the back window here. Again, factory style hinges. Not modified. What's really nice about cars like this is that they aren't overdone. Resto rods are in. They always have been. They hold their own. Um, get into street rods, a little bit different story because they're over personalized. This car has just got a nice, subtle black on uh, burgundy colors. Nice little stanch, about an inch or two rake. We're going to hop inside here and kind of share the inside with you. Again, this car has 21,000 miles on it, so you can hop in this car and drive. 270, 279 rear gear ratio, uh, go about anywhere. Let's see here, I'm going to cover, I'm looking at my sheet, yep. Um, got nice little retractable seat belts in it. So they come over, and he's got them mounted inboard so that they, uh, you know, aren't flopping back down and hitting the car. Again, back seat, nice little floor mats in it that match. It's a nice little feel, comfortable car. Car's been driven, you can drive it. Lightly modified dash. Uh, it's got auto meter analog gauges on it. Looks like it's got a GM tilt column, an actual GM. 21,876 miles. Column shift right here like it's supposed to be. Fire it up here and kind of give you a feel. Headlight switch right here. Uh, turn signals here. And by the way, it does have working cruise control, which is a really nice feature. Uh, LED indicator lights on the dash. One over there, left turn, right turn, and of course the uh, high beam indicator right there. Has uh, oil pressures right around 25 at idle. Goes up when you bring the R's up. Pretty typical for a 350 Chevy V8. He's driven it down here. It's probably almost uh, 90 degrees this morning and temperatures, you know, sitting at 170. Um, volts 14, fuel gauge almost three quarters of a tank. This is a car where everything is working like it's supposed to. There's the audio system, AM, FM, CD audio. Um, got nice little courtesy lights here. You notice it's on with the doors open. Anyway, I'm going to hop out, let you hear it run. Notice the NS NSRA safety inspections on it. E brakes up underneath the dash there. Very nice. Very nice. Hey, have a great day. Make sure you hang on to the end of the video. Definitely go to spudsgarage.com. It's time we tell you to take a look underneath the hood. Very nicely done. Nice and tidy. This is a well-built little uh, resto mod. Resto rod, if you want to call it that. Looking underneath the hood here. It has a uh, Chevy 350 V8. Very tidy and nice. Um, it has a turbo 350 transmission. It has a Ford 8-inch rear differential with 279 gear ratio, which means... It's got a super long legs. You can drive this car down the highway with ease. Um, kind of go around and kind of tell you what we see. It has an Edelbrock four barrel carburetor. So it has an Edelbrock combo on the intake manifold and carburetor. It's an Edelbrock performer intake manifold. Has a uh, MSD HEI style uh, distributor in it. Get down here, it has uh, ceramic coated uh, short tube headers. Nice and tidy dual exhaust. You're, we're going to get to the undercarriage here, but you'll see rack and pinion steering right there. It has Heights independent front suspension. Well, we probably already told you all that, but we'll walk around and show you here. Has a Walker Cobra radiator in it. Has no overheat issues. Has an electronic cooling fan, so it comes on when it's supposed to. In Arizona here, you can drive this car. Nice little uh, stainless uh, grill cover here or uh, front shroud cover. Stainless uh, radiator support rods right here and a hood support. k and air filter, which is really nice. Let some nice air in there. There's a vintage AC compressor right there. 
It does have heat. Heater hoses are connected down there. We'll kind of give you a peek again, the tube headers. Corvette style valve covers. Polished receiver dryer. Nicely smooth recessed firewall. Just a really neat, clean little car. Kind of give you a close up of the details here. Cars like this, are, you can definitely drive. This car has about 20 some thousand miles on it. Um, never driven in the rain that we know of, or this owner. Let you look under the bottom side of the hood here. Make sure you hang on the end of, end of the video where we're definitely gonna have more and go to spudsgarage.com. Right, take a look at the trunk. Just like the rest of the car, it's nice and tidy and clean. Uh, it has everything you'd need for a road trip. Room for uh, a couple of chairs. Uh, it is a really solid car. We've already talked about some of that. Um, the tool wells are here. If you take those screws out, there's some good, cool hiding spots here that some people don't know about. Um, factory rubber mat and jute padding underneath here. Underneath that cover there is a uh, Optima gel battery, which is the only way to put a battery in an enclosed compartment like this. Has a uh, full-size spare with a jack and the things you would need. There's actually a mount point here, and I think you could mount the tire on the side there, or the back, at the back side if you liked, if you wanted to get more room, do a downsized spare. Anyway, we're thinking you get the idea. Go to spudsgarage.com, hang on to the end of the video, right, and insert the intercarriage. Very nicely done body off style restoration. Um, nice dual exhaust. It's got parallel leaf spring upgrade in the rear here. Four to eight inch rear differential with 279 ratio. You can drive this thing down the highway with the greatest of ease. Nice and tidy street rod. Um, take a look here. See the parallels, the fuel tank, it's got a rear stabilizer bar in it, so again, drive. I already read the tire size to you up front. Pick it for a little bit of peppering on the front side of the fenders here, which would be common with 21,000 miles, but no big deal. Again, body color chassis frame, body off style restoration, modified chassis. Has a fully independent front suspension in the front, heights independent uh, with uh, tubular control arms, turbo 350 automatic transmission. There's the uh, power brake booster for the front power disc brakes, drum rear. All the hardware is where it's supposed to be. Stabilizer in the front, rack and pinion steering. It's manual rack and pinion steering and it drives really good and very easy. Nice thing about that type of power st or steering system is it's really easy to do an upgrade on these. It's affordable. There's room to put a uh, power steering pump if a guy wanted to. 11 inch GM rotors on it. Nice. We're getting about the end of the video. This is a hard thing for me getting down underneath here. I know the light's going to be poor here so you're not going to pick up a lot. Very fastidious owner. Nicely done car. Go to spudsgarage.com, give me a call. I'm never any pressure. Time to go. Have a great day.